go. Hello everyone, uh, my name is Evgeny Vinik. I'm a fourth year PhD student here at the School of Computing Science. And um, before coming to SFU, I had about four years of uh, industry experience. And then I decided to start my grad school. Well, today I will tell you about my amazing experience with Qualcomm Research, uh, where I did my internship during the summer. Um, here's the outline of my presentation. First, I will spend a couple moments talking about Qualcomm in general, uh, our office, and my department in particular. Then I will talk about my work without going too much into details, because the project I've been working on is still not really released or revealed. And then I will talk about internship experience in general. Internship experience is what everything that is not work. It's uh, where I lived, what the events we had, and so on. Okay, so let's get started. First of all, currently Qualcomm is the largest uh, mobile and wireless company in the world. Uh, its line of Snapdragon mobile processors power such smartphones as Sony Xperia, uh, Galaxy S, Nokia Lumia, even latest iPhone 6 has several chips from Qualcomm. Uh, the headquarters of Qualcomm are in, uh, San, uh, in San Diego, though they have very large presence in the Bay Area. Uh, I was working at the Qualcomm Santa Clara location, which is the largest uh, of uh, all Bay Area offices, uh, shown here on the photo. Um, but we also had offices in San Francisco, Berkeley, San Jose. Um, this is offices, well, I would say they're fairly boring. Uh, it's cubicles for small offices where two interns can sit. This is my cubicle. Uh, I know some posters, some calendars, coffee, snacks, all these things. And you have um, all the regular stuff that you will find in the office. Microwaves, fridges, dining areas. Um, now, regarding to my department. My department was quite special. Officially named was Qualcomm Research Silicon Valley. And on this group photo, you can see uh, most of the members of this department. Uh, there were about 40 of us. 95 of people working there are PhDs from world top universities. So the amount of talent that surrounds you is simply amazing. Uh, you feel like lots of lots of smart people. And it's amazing to work with such bright people. Uh, now, regarding research, uh, Qualcomm is very practical in its approach to research. Uh, most of the projects that we've been working on are already productized or were planned to be productized in the future. And that's fairly different from, let's say, uh, famous Microsoft research, where they sometimes work on the project that won't be productized immediately. Um, so, and because Qualcomm is first of all is a mobile and wireless company, most research is happening in these areas. Um, now, about my team. So on this photo, we had a dinner together. Um, my team was working on a project that um, was already past the initial stage of proof of a concept and most likely would be productized in the future. I can't reveal much details on the product, uh, but I hope that it will be released in the future versions of Snapdragon mobile chipsets. Day-to-day uh, -day work happened as follows. Uh, I was assigned um, two people to work with me closely. It was a team manager who was generally busy, so I didn't talk to him much. Uh, mostly we meet at the team meetings. And then I had a mentor. Mentor is one of the engineers from the team. So he or she works on its own tasks during the day, but then uh, if you need any guidance with further steps, day-to-day uh, -day assignments, and some other questions, he or she will be the first person you will ask to. So I met with my mentor almost every day, and without him, my project wouldn't be as successful as it was. So. 
Uh, now I'd like to spend a uh, couple moments about talking about Qualcomm internship experience. So according to the recent polls on Glassdoor.com, uh, Qualcomm uh, internship is number third in US, only behind Facebook and Google. And uh, you can really tell why. Um, Qualcomm is extremely was extremely patient during the initial process of the paperwork, getting all the visas done. And then uh, they provided money for relocation, day-to-day -day transportation. So the money they provided was enough me, for me to buy a bike or a bus pass for the full summer. Uh, the apartment Qualcomm provided me, uh, to told the interns actually, was better than my apartments here in Burnaby. And uh, yeah, um, what else? Um, then we had a whole bunch of events. Almost uh, every week we had an event for interns. For example, this show uh, picture shows happy hour that we have at the brewery. So we kind of uh, event that you get to know other uh, people. But also we had some other events. For example, we had a uh, trip to uh, San Francisco and uh, with visiting uh, the San Francisco Giants baseball game and famous Pier 39. Uh, we had a whole bunch of other experience like uh, every week we go for hikes, once we get to the bocce ball, archery, we played soccer and for one weekend Qualcomm brought all regional interns from offices located in Bay Area, Boulder, Colorado, New Jersey, uh, Ontario, and Texas to headquarters in San Diego. So we got to know the company and the people working there better. And then once you get to the San Diego, you realize the company is just giant. Uh, another thing uh, what we did uh, Another thing that I'd like to say is that company is uh, internship at Qualcomm is fairly competitive. So we have all kinds of competitions. For example, this picture shows uh, one of the prizes that I won in the hackathon among interns. And then we had the so-called idea quest competition. It's the competition where interns provide ideas how Qualcomm technologies can improve day-to-day -day life, how they can improve um, connectivity or make social impact. Also, we, one day we did volunteering job. We were packing meals for the Stop Hunger Now uh, charity. Uh, what else? We did um, competitions like walking competitions. Every member in my department were given a Fitbit and we had to walk and at the end of the month the team with the most average number of steps win. So my team won largely because I walked more than 1 million steps in the month of July. So <laughs> it was quite an achievement. Um, what else? Yeah, we had the video competition where you have to create 3 minute video about your internship so you can google for Controversial things Qualcomm interns say on YouTube, and you will see my video. Um, okay, so this, uh, to conclude my speech, I'd like to say that I had an amazing internship experience. And I'd like to say that Qualcomm is a great place to work at. Um, you get to work on interesting projects. Uh, even as an intern, you have real work to do. And uh, the projects that are challenging, but at the end is rewarding. You get to meet excellent co-workers who are smart, passionate about their projects, and uh, very confident with the things they do. And also you have great pain. Yeah. So that's uh, to conclude my presentation. I, I'd like to answer questions. Okay, question first. Um, so I was just wondering, um, you listed Qualcomm on your uh, internship ratings. Is that specifically Qualcomm Research or is it Qualcomm as a company in general? Qualcomm is a company in general. Okay. So Qualcomm had about probably 600 interns this summer. So uh, in Qualcomm Research, 
it's actually significantly less. There were like only about seven of us in the department because and all of us were pursuing our PhDs and masters. Yeah. In, um, I was the only guy from Canada. Most of them were from uh, top US universities. So, yeah. mm -hmm. so what was the level of uh, awareness that you were doing? Was it like very hardware level or was it a little bit so I'm no hardware guy, I was a software guy. Okay. And um, Qualcomm does lots of software work as well. That uh, because they um, have this Snapdragon mobile processors, obviously you have uh, iOS, uh, like Android is running on top of it. So you have to glue together those two pieces, right? Okay. Hardware and OS. And then you maybe provide some additional uh, SDKs, some Snapdragon SDK you can do for it. What was controversial about your three-minute video? Controversial? You said look up on YouTube. Aha! Ah, so it's, it's just like um, you have to watch it. Okay. It's right. nothing actually controversial. It's to make the name more interesting and intriguing. Oh, okay. No controversies really. Okay. Otherwise they wouldn't allow me to post on YouTube. Okay. <laughs> yes. Um, so I was just wondering, I've heard from people who have worked at Microsoft Research that it feels kind of like a different company. Like compared to Microsoft, it's much more oriented on you know big ideas and etc. And you say that Qualcomm Research is much more tied to product releases. Exactly. So I don't know if you have any experience to speak to people who are working at Qualcomm in main office. But do you feel it's the same way? Like, does Qualcomm Research feel like a different company than Qualcomm? Or are they very much the same? One just works on a different timeline. Doesn't feel like the different company. You are still in the loop of events, and you, uh, the even the building where we're working on, we just one of the teams. We share the building with other teams that work on the like hardware, for example, and um, it doesn't also feel uh, like a different team because they, some of the projects that Qualcomm Research is Silicon Valley is working on are already released. And you can download from the developer.qualcom.com website. 